this to, your, to yours in the past? Yeah, um, what I've seen happen this season is almost from the very beginning, we were at higher numbers. Um, normally when we start out a season, we're at seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We started out between 15 and 18 right off the bat. And we have been at capacity. Capacity here is, at the warming center is 25 individuals. And we've been at capacity um, probably a little bit earlier in the season than when we have been in the past years. What's a typical season? The uh, season goes from November 1st through April 30th. So it's six months. And even now, um, if you look at 2016, between the Salvation Army, Women's Community, and the Warming Center, we had 655 unduplicated individuals utilize those three uh, shelters, which is an extremely high number for WASA. You see some people coming through, they come here looking for employment. They hear there's a lot of jobs, but they don't have a car. They can't always get to the jobs that they think they can. We have other individuals who are working. However, when you take a look at having to save for first month's rent, security deposit, monthly rent payments, utilities, we have to be realistic with them and say, can you really afford 550 plus all these extra things a month? Uh, it takes time for people to have a savings and coming here helps them do that, um, but still, it doesn't happen overnight. What would you like to see done? Well, we definitely need more affordable housing. When I say affordable housing, we need affordable quality housing. Um, I would say most of the individuals who stay at the shelters um, need some help in who to reach out to. We have a lot of resources here in the city of Wausau and the county. And sometimes it takes you know, encouraging somebody to do something because like any of us, if somebody says, well, you need to do this, this, that, and the other thing, it seems overwhelming and you don't know the questions to ask, so you don't do it. So we really try to work with people um, to garner their trust so that when we do make referrals to other organizations that they will go ahead and do it. Last summer, we actually put together a program. It was called the STEP program, Summer Training and Education, and it focused on employment, job interviewing, how to do a resume, financial literacy, and other benefits um, that people are entitled to. And it was done in a very casual um, environment so that people could ask questions without having to go to an organization. We did it at Salvation Army, and that was a comfortable spot for people to come to. And it was open to the community, but the focus was really individuals who were housing challenged. Why do you think there was an increase in uh, numbers in the season? Is it weather being a prominent factor? Is it the amount of homeless that's growing? Well, it's weather, uh, that's one thing. Um, we housed last year a lot of individuals just through the warming center. We actually housed 30 individuals. So what we're seeing is a younger population and again, employment is one reason. Um, I talked to one gentleman um, who moved here from a bigger city because he felt safer here. And they feel that there's more resources here than in sometimes in the big cities. So, you know, we have people that are new to the community they don't know where else to go. They really don't have any money to stay anywhere, um, but they know that we're here and we can work with them. So some people might stay for a week. Some people might stay for a month. Um, that's really depending on their situation. Now, some people who are looking for employment, in the meantime, they do volunteer activities at different organizations, keeps them busy, and it gives them some skills also that they might take to an employer. And then we do try to work with employment programs. Um, the Joseph Project is here in town, and uh, it's really an, a program where people can learn the soft skills, and the employer will teach them the skills that they need for the job. Um, but again, that program works very well because they provide transportation, too. So if you're working a second shift job, you can get to work versus, we've had some people who have stayed here who have walked to Rib Mountain, at 5.30 in the morning to get to work, and that's quite a hike. So um, we really try to find all the resources available for people. How often do you see somebody go through 
a shelter like this or a program like this and eventually get on their feet and find an apartment or some sort of permanent housing? We find many successes. I can tell you that this year um, we have housed several people. Uh, we have um, worked with individuals who have found jobs and then helped find an apartment for them. Um, we have a list of, of uh, landlords that uh, we identify as being good landlords and um, we help them identify something that they can afford. You know, we don't want people to go into an apartment and then find out they can't afford it on an ongoing basis, so we really try to work with them, but we do help individuals. Is it fair to say homelessness is, has grown the last few years in Wausau? Um, I would say there's, there's two different definitions. You have the HUD definition, which is people who stay in the shelters and those people that stay out in the environment. Um, other definitions include people who couch surf, stay with family, friends, um, like the, the school system. The school system identifies homeless children within the schools. Those are generally families that are staying with relatives or friends. Uh, we don't count them. Um, we're, our counts have actually decreased somewhat uh, as far as the shelter and the unsheltered count. Uh, but that is again because we're getting the what we identify as chronic homeless into apartments. We're getting them housed. We're assisting with that. Um, we always see new young people come through. Um, you know that will probably never change. But again, they hear that there's employment opportunities here, and um, when they get here, they might find that they have some additional challenges as far as getting to the employers. So. Um, is the number increasing? Not where we see significantly. Our counts are decreasing because we're getting the chronic homeless into housing. So, and we're happy about that. 